Hello guys, this is the most exciting thing you can do in Blender, which are rigid, bo rigid bodies. Well, they're almost as exciting as you can get, but they're really fun. So, it's basically letting objects fall down and interact with each other. So, there are a bunch of ways to do stuff like rigid bodies, but rigid bodies are just the best. So, let's keep the default cube this time with this GZ. One meter up, one meter so that it's all on the ground. Then we can add a plane and then let's get and press S5 to scale up five times. Now do S5 again to scale up five times. How's that? Okay. So now that we have a cube, what I can do um, is make it a rigid body if I go to this little planet symbol and then the rigid body make sure that's the active um you can change the mass and stuff too because that's really good effect stuff it's, it's really good um and then you can press shift d z um uh, and press z to make it go up and then choose two if, you, if your cube is two meters in diameter then you want it to go up two times so now you can press shift r to duplicate the action a lot of times and now look you have a tower that you can knock over you know, you, you can use other things other than cubes too, and it's not limited to cubes. But now, they fall right through the plane. But that's because we have not made the plane right spot. You might think you not need to check collision for this to work, but no. You need to put a rigid body and make it passive so that it does not fall. And now, we have our tower box and they're supported by the plane. So we're going to play the preview and see. So, if we want to knock these over, how are we supposed to do that? It's really simple. So, uh, I can import a hand, but it's in the right outfit for doing that right now. So, I'll smash it with a monkey. Um, it just comes with Blender. Then you can move it up over here, and that's our Z. So, 90, rotate on the Z axis. Then that's scaled up so that I can make those blocks go boom, that shade smooth, just to make it look a bit more pretty. That's still not that pretty, so we can just add a quick subdivision surface. Who cares about looking pretty? It doesn't really matter, but let's just, let's just apply it. Um, and now we have our nice little monkey that can knock down this big tower. So we need the monkey to move though. So to make it move, we need to keyframe it. So we press, um, the auto keying button so it automatically creates keyframes when you move it. Make sure that you're on the first frame. Um, and then press G and X to keep it like I'm perfectly aligned. And now look, there's like a, a little keyframe and then you move it out to the place where you want it to be next. So say 40 frames and then I can press G and X and then move it to the other side of the tower. Now the computer is going to automatically fill that in. Um, Though it still doesn't knock over the tower because we need to make that our rigid body too. Let's do active, but we can also check animated, which will make it work. Ah, oh, look, that's so cool. And you can see that the cubes interact with each other too. Oh yeah, and if it's not going fast enough, you can go over to the scene saints and then go to the rigid body world. And here are some stuff, here's some stuff to do. Um, you can change the speed to like, if you want it to be two. Like, see, the blocks and stuff will fall doubly as fast. Um, if you want to bake it, which means that it's basically um, in, in be, um, storing all of the data for the blocks to fall into the cache, you can click bake, but I don't want to do that yet. Um, so, yeah, so now if you want to go into side view, you can select all these blocks, and then press Shift D and then X or something, and then press Shift R. Now look. You have an entire tower ready for your little monkey to knock down. Let's just make sure we can go to the next keyframe by pressing this still button. And it's not quite there yet, so let's just press G, X, and move it just of the way. So I'll overwrite that keyframe automatically. Okay, so now watch this. That is so satisfying. You can make the most satisfying animations this way. Um, this might be going a bit far, but then um, I'll just delete the camera and the light so that they're not more obstacles that have them duplicate so now i can select all of these cubes then um head over to the other side and then press shift d and then y to move it on that side and then press shift r and look at what we've got there um and look blender's not really having any trouble with that it's pretty easy on blender the fps is kind of going down but um it's still 
And if you had higher poly objects, it would probably get pretty angry at you. But it's actually really not bad. Um, oh, wow. That's just so satisfying. They all interact with each other. Um, and then you can have, like, um, it, we can make the monkey rigid body. We can delete the keyframes, hover your mouse over this place, and then um, you can uncheck the audio key so that you don't accidentally keyframe other things by mistake. Then... You can um, go to the side view and press G Z, and then you can go um, and uncheck animated and whoops. So when that happens, when you want it to actually knock down the tower rather than just resting there, you have to change the mass. It's real world physics. Let's do 38 kilograms. It's gonna be heavy monkey. That's a bit better. Though, let's um move it closer to the center, and now I can see what happens. Still not as satisfying as you'd like. Turn up the mass even more. It's a really, really heavy monkey. Let's do that much. It's gonna work. Look at that. Ugh, I'm going too far, but let's just scale up the monkey. And now. Ugh, look at that. It's like dunks. That is so funny. You know, the stuff is falling down into the abyss. It's like it's never coming up again. It's gonna go out of like the clip start, so it's like um, the part that where um, render clips away the view because it's so far away, you can change that. But um, yeah, and that's just crazy. Ugh, I'm going too far. Let's just make it go up a bit more, and then let's change up the mass and make it even more. And that's when you really have. Oh, and if, it, and if it's slow and you don't feel like doing that every time, that's when it's time to bake rigid bodies. All you have to do is make sure that you like the animation, and then you click bake, and then it takes a little bit, um, and then even if you move objects, um, they're, they're, the simulation is going to still play at top FPS it can, so it doesn't actually have to simulate. But if you want to change things again, you have to delete the bake and then bake it again. So it's not them. Um, Hmm, so, and, I, and if it's, okay, and if another thing, um, you render one frame that's kind of far in, you're gonna need, um, and when you render it, it actually doesn't show as the physics simulation happening, you have to bake it first. Uh, baking normally doesn't take that long. Um, so you can also do more exciting things like ramps and falls and you can model yourself away, but just remember these basic principles and you're gonna have a great time. Thank you for watching. So I start to eat gems with the pit that subscribe button with one button and it means so much to me. Now so that only like 10% of you who watch this, these videos are subscribed and it makes me kind of sad. Is there any chance you can get to that beautiful button? Please.